Hello, and I would like to welcome you to the Starpoint Academy Learning Management System, the LMS as we call it. My name is Nikki Chatfield and I am the administrator here at Starpoint Academy and I do the training for all of our individuals and groups. So nice to meet you all today and please enjoy this tour of our learning management system. So what you're seeing here is we would use our URL, starpoint.agilixbuzz.com up here, and this would be your login page. Each user receives a unique username and password to log into their account, whether it be a student user, a teacher user, or a parent user. And then you would just click login, and this is what this is what I would see as an administrator. Now the view will be different for you and we're going to do that here in a minute. So if, I just wanna point out over here that each person will have their own profile and you can actually uh, click a drop down, and you can update your profile with a photo, you can choose a theme, all of that is available to you in your profile account. Now I'm going to go ahead and proxy a teacher so that everyone can see the learning management system from the teacher's view, which is typically uh, the training that we're doing is training teachers to prepare their students, navigate the learning management system, and uh, take care of their students within the courses. So this is what your page would look like when you log in. And a few things to note, uh, it says teacher's app, so teacher app, so that's what, uh, that's identifies the view we're looking at. And then we have courses here, and uh, you can see the courses right down below. We have the date, and then needs grading. Nothing needs grading right now, so this isn't lit up, but uh, when you do have items to grade, you can just click that and go right to what needs to be graded. So that's very handy on your login page. And then up in the right hand corner, you'll see manage courses, you have a clipboard. This is the announcement icon and we will post announcements from Starpoint Academy if, there are, if there's wonderful news or different things that we would like to communicate, we post announcements there. And this is just your app. It, not something you're gonna use, but this little tiny question mark right here, I would like to really highlight this. This is a fantastic tool for everyone in the Buzz platform here. You can type in anything you want and it's going to pop up with resources and information. So this is a fantastic tool for everyone to use. So I just typed grades and nine different things come up and you're gonna, you can click that, go through, and any, any little thing that you might have a question about or need some help, just type it in here, and you will find a multitude of information in there to help you along, so that's very helpful. Really like that little tiny question mark up there. And we'll condense that. And then just, uh, I'll scroll down to show you the typical a teacher slash student would have six courses. So we have six courses loaded here and they have, each one has a course card, as you can see here. The top courses are high school courses. So we're going to jump into one of these courses in a minute. But before we do, in the top left-hand corner, you're going to see a menu. We'll click on that and you will see a drop down list of some wonderful items. So teacher's app just takes you back home and then needs grading, just like the icon we saw earlier, items that need graded. Notes, so you have note taking ability right here on your platform. Communication is just like this, uh, ask the exclamation point we talked about earlier. Those are just notifications from us to you, just announcements as it were. And then you have a calendar feature here that you can use. And if you'd like to use the calendar feature, you can schedule activities, communicate with students in the calendar feature. And then people would be your students, which in this, in this uh, pass, we do not have students, but you as a teacher, 
you may have students and they would be listed here. And then under that we have Accelerate Reports, which is a wonderful tool to be able to um, generate reports out of the Buzz Learning Platform. Uh, student reports, grading reports, all kind of wonderful reports right here. And then the Learning Coach resources right here is a really in-depth, fantastic resource, mostly used by parents, but it can also be, a, it's a Learning Coach resource. So if you have Learning Coaches, uh, teachers, parents, this is where they will go to enjoy lots and lots of information and training. You can do a quick search here. You can scroll down and you'll see top 10 steps to getting started as a learning coach. That has a lot of great information. And then we have specific grades five, K through five here for the learning coach and grades six through 12 here for the learning coach. So this is just an absolute wealth of knowledge there for you to enjoy. Going back, I'll click home again so we're back on our homepage. And we'll continue down the left-hand side, AE support. So this is your technical support for the learning management system. So if you're in a course or uh, in anything that you're doing on here and you need technical assistance, this is the place to do it. So you have 24-hour uh, technical support. You actually can call technical support from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here. You can also submit a help desk ticket. You click this and it opens up a, uh, you know, fill in the blank, tell us what your problem is, and then they will communicate with you solving your problem by email in a very timely manner. That gets done very quickly. So feel free to use these wonderful resources built into your school site for technical support. And again, that was AE support right here. The AE support is a wonderful resource for every, all users, whether teacher, student, parent, anyone can use the AE support. And then we have the clipboard option again. That's just another, just like the clipboard we saw up here. And if you scroll down, you're going to see the six courses that we have loaded up that you can see the uh, cards for on the home page. And then you see that little question mark again. So help is available here and here. It's the same help, just the question mark. That's your help. So let's go back to the home page. And we will enter a course and get familiarized with how that's going to look so you're comfortable navigating your new school site. So the first course here is Algebra 1. And what we'll see here that when you click that, you'll all of our core classes are set up in two semesters. So we have Algebra 1 Semester A. And here you'll see a welcome. I've just put welcome to your guest pass access Algebra 1. Now for uh, different organizations and groups, this would be customized to however, you know, we'll talk about that together and come up with a great welcome here. And then when you scroll down, you'll see this is all of semester A, so the first semester. And there, if we click the, the top, the top item on every course will be resources. So when we click that, we're going to see teacher's guide, getting started, curriculum map, about me, materials needed, online learning tools. So this is an excellent place to start. And many of these items are repeated, they're duplicates from course to course. So for example, getting started will be the same. About me would be the same, although it is a about me quiz that may or may not apply to you. And we can hide that. It doesn't need to be visible on your school site. And then materials needed, that actually will be per class, letting you know what items you might need to gather together to get together before you start a course. Online learning tools, that would be the same for every single course. So you'll notice that pretty quickly, what you do need to go through and 
what items are duplicates from course to course that you'll, you can just skip over. All right, we will close that back up and we'll see the very first lesson here is tools of, tools of the trade and we get the drop down and you'll see teachers model study guide. You'll see that's uh, it's hidden so the students don't see that. And oh, also one other thing, one very important thing. Up here in resources, you see teacher's guide. This is where the answer keys and everything will be housed. And the student does not see that, only the teacher sees, the person who will be the teacher for the student will see the teacher's guide. And it has the syllabus, lesson structure, answer keys, differentiating instruction, everything that you're going to need. And it's nine pages long here, so there's quite a bit of information for the teacher to prepare and get ready for their, their students, for their learning time together. So this is a wonderful resource for the teachers to get prepared. Other navigation tools, I'll let you know up here at the top. This, is, this will take you actually to the next, the getting started. This is another way you can navigate. Just showing you the different navigational tools up here, getting started. Then we're going to jump to the next one, curriculum map. So different ways of getting around within your course. Materials needed, graph paper, and it's right there already for you. Okay, online learning tools. Now you can actually click this X and it'll take us back to the list. So here we are back at the list and we can go, we'll just close this up. Tools of the trade, back to the beginning of the lesson. Using variables to create models of the real world. Okay, so you'll see this is a typical lesson. They're all set up the same so that it's easy to identify for the student and teacher. And uh, another tool we have here, it's collapsed, but there you go. It actually, uh, you select this and it will read to you. Subject matter. Using variables to create models of the real world. One of 14. In this lesson, you will learn how variables can be used to create algebraic expressions that model real world situations. So that's available on every page, every lesson. So, you know, we have audio, visual, all different styles of ways to send the, in, the materials out to the students any which way that is best for them. And here we have a translate button, which is very helpful if you need that. And then there's a dictionary. There's a, this is a picture dictionary, so that's helpful. Screen mask and change settings. So all of those items are available to you. If you're not using them, you can just collapse that. So we'll just scroll through, and there's also navigation at the bottom of the page to go to the next page. And uh, as we have very often, there's, there are videos within the curriculum. So, In the real world, sometimes we have to figure out how much we can afford with the money we have. For example, you might want to buy online music, but you have a limited budget. So let's say you have a gift card for $20 worth of music and the songs you want. So that's just an example of a video within the curriculum. We also use a lot of discovery video videos in science. So you'll see you might already be familiar with discovery videos. They're wonderful educational tools that are built right into the curriculum. And this lesson has 14 pages and as you can see, it's not a lot of reading. We like to break it out into small pieces. So our curriculum is, some online curriculums are referred to as books online. We are not a book online. We try to uh, incorporate interactive items, videos, and we like to break the uh, 
long bits of reading into smaller pieces, which is just more helpful for the student. Some clicking, some interaction here, just to show you what the lesson looks like. And then I'm gonna X to go to the beginning of the class again, and just shows you, and then you would go to, you have a quiz here. So you have a lesson, then we have a quiz, and the quiz would be taken online by the student and they would push submit and that would populate directly into the grade book for the student and the teacher to see. Now, just to let you know, you definitely wanna make sure that you are on a good internet connection while taking online quizzes or tests because if a student starts that quiz or test and puts information on there and their internet times out or something goes wrong, their answers will not be saved. So just to let you know that before you head into quizzes or tests with your students, make sure you're in a, in a um, secure internet connection. So I'll go to the next item here. And so that's, I believe we're going to the next lesson. So here we are, one of 18. Next lesson, objectives, skills needed, keywords. So I like to keep that consistent so the students have a good familiarity with their classes. So this is just examples of more lessons. And another video. You guys can watch that later. I'm sure you're excited to dive into Algebra 1. A lot of people love math and some of us don't, but you know, we're not <laughs> that you have that all available to you. So I'm going to close that. And uh, let's see, just collapse that back together and you'll see the next linear relationships, creating graphical models. And I wanna show you when you're in a class, the left drop down actually looks a little different. You have some different things available to you. Activities, this is the actual course and curriculum and lessons. And then you have the grade book here. So for the algebra, this is the grade book for the algebra class. Whoever is in algebra, the students' names would be listed here. And then we have the about me quiz we were talking about earlier. Uh, if the student had taken that, the score would be right here. And this goes all the way across for the whole semester, all of the different grades that would be populated. We have a semester exam to end here. All of that would be populated here into your grade book. We have a mastery tab at the top. No grading has happened yet, so there's nothing there. Unit summary, this is the condensed version, the unit summary of the semester one algebra one here. And for me, this is each and every single item going across and we have grades here. So this is your typical grade book and then you have options up here, display options. You can have quick editing, here's your tools and filters. So you have all of these uh, tools and information and options to work with your gradebook, which is fantastic. Now we're going to go to reports. So you have reports available in each class. You can do a course activity summary, period and category summary from the gradebook. You could have student reports here, student performance, all of that here, and then mastery reports as well. So these are different reports that you can run within a course. And then people just shows you who you have enrolled in that Algebra 1 class. And of course, help is always on the way, right at the bottom, question mark, we have help there. And you have your other icons available here too. So it's always quick and easy to get to different items that you wanna to navigate to in the school site. If you click the home button, you're gonna go right back to where you began, and here are your courses again. So I think the learning management system is pretty uh, click and play, as they say. Everything makes pretty good sense, which is wonderful, but uh, we're always just a phone call away. Don't ever get frustrated. Please pick up the phone or email us at any time, 
and we'll be happy to get right back with you because the last thing we want is for anyone to get frustrated. So your first, your first act is to definitely give us a call and uh, ask questions before getting frustrated. And I'll just jump into the language arts uh, 11th grade class to show you that they're all set up the exact same way. So when we access this, you're going to see the same thing. We have resources and then the curriculum for semester A here. And if we click the resources, you'll say, see, getting started about me, a lot of these things will be the same. Novel requirements, different. These are intrinsic to the class. Novel requirements quiz, so those will be for the class. And then online learning, you have that in every single class. Teacher's guide, this is where your answer keys will be and syllabus for this course and any other uh, information and help for the teacher to teach this course. And then down below, we'll have all of the lessons, which we click this and whew, big study unit here. Wonderful, isn't it? Language arts is a very, very in-depth course. I think your students are going to love it. And we'll just close those back up, a little housekeeping, keep everything nice and neat. Fantastic. So that's a good overview of your learning management system and how everything looks. And here we are in the course and you'll see activities, grade book, reports, people. So all of that's listed every time you jump into a course. We'll go back home. And so we're back on the home page. My profile. We have the icons at the top, courses in the middle. And don't forget your left drop down has all of these wonderful items for you. And your courses at the bottom. So I hope you found this very informative and helpful. I think it's a nice tour and like I said, very click and play. You can't break anything, just jump in there and look around. But if you should ever have a question, you know where to find us. You can call or email and you, have, you can ask a specific buzz uh, prep platform questions here and then of course you have your technical support over here thank you all for your time and I really appreciate uh, spending time with you today in the learning management system